Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. So today, I'm going to talk about streaming the real-time financial market data with AWS Cloud. The motivation behind this is because a single machine cannot meet the data storage need for the real-time financial data-intensive applications. In the meanwhile, building a distributed computer cluster requires highly maintenance fee and also a significant financial commitment. So therefore, we were choosing to use the services from the cloud service providers. We will deploy our application to the service cloud, cloud service providers, and the user can directly access the service from the cloud. Among all the cloud service providers, we choose AWS because it takes up 30% of the market. This is our first strategy of how we stream the real-time data. We will use the various AWS services to do this. We use the AppSync to serve as a gateway to receive the request from the front-end user. And we can also use the AppSync to connect the data sources. We use the DynamoDB for data source. DynamoDB is a kind of NoSQL database provided by Amazon. It can also be used for storage, the historical stock data. We use the Polygon IO as a data source providers because it can provide the real-time data. We use the Julia script to subtract the data from the Polygon IO. Every time when we receive the new data, we will create a mutation request to the AppSync. The AppSync create uh, receive this request and then make modifications on the database. The user have two movements. The first one is to get the historical data from the AppSync. The other one is to listen the changes in the AppSync. The listening the changes in the AppSync can allow them to subtract the data at the real time. But considering this, what if the Amazon shut down one of the services? We have to make changes accordingly. So to avoid this, we also come up with another solution, which is to build everything from scratch and directly um, using their virtual machine and to running our services. So we use the Genie framework for the network routing they will receive the request from from the users. They receive this request and uh, make changes accordingly and uh, fetch the data from the database and then provide to the front end user. We use the search flag for our database operations. And the, and the same, we use the Polygon IO to stream the real-time data. In the meanwhile, we create a WebSocket server for our front end user to connect them. Every time we receive the updates from the Polygon, we will publish the data from the WebSocket server to the users. This is an example of how we're retrieving and uh, displaying the real time aggregates window for Bitcoin USD. We were using the WebSocket crypto currency endpoint from the Polygon IO. On the left side of this dashboard, we can see the volume trading in every aggregate window. On the right side of this graph, we can see the prices of each aggregate window. So if we play this video, we can use, we can zoom in and zoom out. And the console here can help us to see whether we actually receive the real-time data or not. So at this time, it says got this play payload and uh, it will append or payload to the end of this queue. So if I drag to another timestamp, so another payload received, we can see there's another entry on our window. So similarly, Another window, another window. So to evaluate the performance of our system, 
we measure the processing time uh, when we receive the message. The processing time includes saving the data to the database and also notifying the front end. We can see that from the graph, it decreased after the first time on the millisecond scale. If we compare the performance of those two services, we can see that the model running AWS virtual machine has superior performance than the other one. And both of them showing a similar processing trend. So to sum up, the traditional approach of building a computer cluster to stream the data can be very costly. So that's why we're providing some cloud solutions and renting the services from, from the AWS, it can reduce the cost maintenance. So there are two backend solutions implemented in this study. The first one is to leverage various AWS services like DynamoDB for database, AppSync for the gateway, and also some additional services like CloudFormation, which is to use to manage the AWS services and IAM for the access controls. The second solution involves utilizing different packages of Injulia. Uh, the first one is the Gini framework for network routing. The other one is the search line for database operations. Run the service is running on the AWS EC2 machine. So the solution on the virtual machine demonstrates the better performance compared to the solution used various AWS services. So we compare the processing time, we can see from the graph, the virtual machine has lower processing time than the other one. Here's the link to our repository, both backend and frontend. At last, I want to give my sincere acknowledgement to Dr. Jeffrey Warner and also my lab mate. And also I want to give special thanks to Polygon IO. If you have any questions, please send me the email on the bottom. Thank you.